Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my to my guide for uh, to to win data uh, to get a domination victory as easy as it's possible. Uh, the e the easiest way to get uh, a domination victory in uh, Civilization Five is uh, is actually to play on a Pangaea map with the Mongols and on epic speed. So. <coughs> what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to, to give you my strategies, well, my strategy to play the Mongols and uh, and then to, to to explain you how, how to do it. Why the Mongols? Uh, because it's very easy to win with them and uh, quickly and also you don't need uh, you don't need, you know, to, to 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 know which buildings you must build, which wonders you must build, or anything like it's all about uh, spamming the same thing over and over again. So, I'm going to explain you the strategy very quickly. So first, uh, first thing important is to to go for liberty uh, for two reasons. Uh, first, it's because well, at least just one reason. Uh, which is the most important is liberty will give you um, will give you a very er a very good early game and also liberty is the only policy that you can grab that will give you a quick uh, a quick uh, great scientist. So the thing is, liberty will uh, allow you to not s waste time building a walk a settler. It will gives you a golden age. It will gives you uh, some happiness for the early game. It's not as good as as a tradition for the long run, but you're going to end the game very quickly. So w what you have to do actually is when you start um, when you start a new city, like the one I made in this uh, in my let's play that you can see right now. I choose to build this city, Beshbalik. Here, why did I choose to settle my city here? is because um, you can see I have four horses in the north I have two horses here and right now I'm stealing more horses with a great general to the city-state so your second city must uh, have uh, must do two things very important your second city must one step one grab horses and the step two is to grab more horses this is the only thing you must do your second city it doesn't it doesn't need uh, luxury resources it needs horses and just horses all right do everything you can to get horses if you need to, uh, yeah like like I did if you need to grab horses from a city state with a citadel just do it you you play the Mongols you go for honor once you're finished Liberty so you will get the great generals well great Khan over and over so use them then um, the tech you have to to tech is very simple. You must go for national college as soon as possible. And once you get national college, you must rush chivalry. Chivalry is a technology that gives you the Keshix, which is the unique unit from the Mongols, and which is the reason why you play the Mongols. So what you have to do is very simple: is uh, you just you just rush science. So you can already you can also start uh, some trade route just to get some science and you just do this uh, usually once when you get um, when you get guilds because you need guilds to get the Kashyyyk uh, if I'm if I'm if I'm correct uh, you will um, or maybe you don't but well anyway the technology just before you get the Kashyyyk or even if you are uh, researching chivalry you will finish uh, Liberty and because of that you will get your great scientist you pop up the great scientist so you can get the science you need to, to start building Kashyyyk uh, this is the e the quickest way to get Kashyyyk it's to go Liberty and to use uh, the great person you can have from the last uh, the finisher to get the great um, the great scientist you can't get uh, the Kashyyyk quicker you can't get it through tradition or any other way if you don't go for Liberty so Liberty you settle one city you are chivalry and you use a great uh, person to get a great scientist and you use it to get uh, to get chivalry uh, then for the rest of the game you will just build uh, you will mostly build uh, Kashyyyk 
all the time. You just never stop building Keshix over and over again. Okay, you don't build anything else. You just build Keshix. Uh, you can build some. You can you can build a circus. You can build a coliseum if you want. A market, but you don't really build anything else. All right. You just you just focus on on Keshix. It's okay to have. Uh, usually, when you end the game, you have about 15 Keshix. So spamming Keshix is very important, and this is um, this is also because uh, because uh, because the Keshix are very good, and the thing is you can move and shoot at the same time. And uh, oh yeah, and also you have to keep this in mind. Very important, you must build two horsemen. So uh, the thing is, the horsemen will be used to you can use it to attack sometimes, but most of the times it will be used to take cities. Uh, because you play the Mongols, the, uh, your horsemen will have 5 movement points, which is enough to capture all the city you want. So get 2 horsemen that you won't upgrade uh, to Keshix, and, and that's it. Also, you can build some horse archer uh, in the way to, get, uh, to, get, uh, to, to then upgrade them into Keshix, uh, but before you do this, be sure to get a barrack, or at least barracks, in your 2 cities. This is very important. In your second city, you must rush a library, and once you get library, you start uh, you start granary and stuff like this. But always rush uh, a, um, a library in your second city because once you finish the library, if you do as I said, you will get uh, the technology to to get national college. So once you finish library in your second city, you can start the national college in your main city, in your capital. And and I think that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, if you have questions, if you want to know exactly how to do it, you can still watch my Let's Play with the Mongols. Uh, I managed to win the game before I enter uh, in, in industrial era, so you can clearly see that my strategy is working. Uh, you can do, you can try something else when you play the Mongols. There is many ways to play them, but this way is the easiest way to get a domination victory because it's simple. You uh, you will have simple uh, task to do because you just go liberty, rush science, rush chivalry, and uh, just settle one city that is focused on horses, and then you just spam Keshix over, over and over again. So there is nothing very difficult about this, uh, and it's very easy to win wars. Be sure to always focus the nearest AI, uh, and and that's it. If you need more, if you if if you have some questions about how to fight, how to do s s some other thing. You can also watch my other guides which talk more about uh, how to expand, how to, to wh who to attack, what to do and uh, yeah. But this is really just for the Mongols. This is a tra strategy that works especially with the Mongols and also Arabia. So thanks for watching and I hope this guide did help you.